a neglected and underutilized species is generally some crop species that has value for food, very often to indigenous people, and that crop has not been developed or it has not been given the level of attention that is required to make it really a crop of significance. In a way, uh, breadfruit is a Caribbean metaphor. In the case of Jamaica, because it entered really as a, a food to save the poorest of the poor from starvation and malnutrition, and the poorest of the poor next to the animals, the livestock. So breadfruit enters into that lowest ebb of the nutritional structure. It's absolute nutritional diversity. You can feed the enslaved people. You can feed the animals. And on the plantations, the slave owner has horses, you know, sheep and goat. This, this stigma is still persisting, and stigma against food, which is just so ridiculous. As long as it's beneficial to our health, we are not going to be ashamed of consuming breadfruit. 30,000 miles that breadfruit had to travel from the South Pacific around the Cape all the way into Jamaica. But 30,000 miles to feed 300,000 people is worth it. In places like Jamaica and St. Vincent, roasted breadfruit, that's the way that you cook breadfruit, okay? Now, a lot of younger persons might not even know how to roast a breadfruit, okay? How to even begin the fire to roast a breadfruit. And then, of course, there's all that cleaning of the charred skin and, and, and so on, which in times past, it would have been an art. And there was a pride to clean a breadfruit. And at the end of the day, there is no smudge on that um, peeled fruit at all. Very, very nice because you can use it in both ways, but boiling, roasting, frying. The inequality at this moment in our democracy and the fact that our democracy has another phase to enter, that phase of genuine social equality, that phase where the color of your skin is not important to what you can achieve. We are now entering into that phase where the democracy will come to maturity. The breadfruit needs to accompany us on that journey. And that is where I think the breadfruit is really, ideally speaking, the mirror of the black man and the mirror of the black woman. Eat more breadfruit, grow more breadfruit, eat more breadfruit.